Hey guys, Christopher here with another tutorial. Um, this one's for connecting the Yamaha MG10XU to your computer and using it for your streaming or Discord, any of that. Um, I've had a real tough time trying to hook this thing up over the last six months or so. And I think I finally found a decent solution, so I figured this might help some people. Right now I have my microphone plugged in into input one. I have two quarter inch going into a quarter into the back of the computer. These are my monitor outputs for my speakers, headphones, and this is for Discord. So going through these in kind of a process, uh, first thing to get your mic levels correct, I'm going to unplug the monitor cables. So now that those are disconnected, in order to check your microphone level input, you can turn up this red knob to the marker on the right. The three o'clock position right here. And now you can see when I talk, it's peaking around zero. So if I talk kind of loud, it hits zero and that's where, right where you want to be. And to get that set correctly, you want to start with this one at the three o'clock position as well on the arrow or the carrot, whatever you want to call it. This button you want pushed in the HPF high pass filter. That's uh, I believe to take out some of the low end in your voice. These three are just your EQ. So you can set those how you want them to be set. And then some compression. I don't have any on right now. I haven't really tweaked that yet now that I have this set up. So you want to make sure this is at three o'clock and then adjust this one until you're peaking at zero when you're talking a little bit louder. Make sure the phantom is on if you're using a cloud lifter. If you're not using the cloud lifter, I don't think that needs to be on. But when I turn that off, my mic doesn't work uh, with this setup. So um, routing wise, uh, I have an XLR input here to my mic. This is going into the cloud lifter here. And then another XLR cable goes out directly to my mic. I'm using the Shure SM7B with the CL1 Cloud Lifter. I'll put the links for all this equipment in the description. Next up is the audio that you want to hear. So for this, I have these two quarter inch are going into an eighth inch into the green headphone slot into the back of my computer. To get these working right, you wanna go down here to this gain knob for it. And I like it at the 12 o'clock position because then you can just adjust this for your headphones to get louder or softer for your volume of your game or whatever else you're trying to listen to. This over here is for Discord only. So that's going off of the FX send up top. I have this button pushed in, this FX knob at 12 o'clock, so it's halfway. This all the way down. Uh, my effects on 12, that's just preference, whichever one you want. I like the uh, the slight delay. I don't know that it's outputting much. But this will connect into your microphone, the pink slot in the back of your computer. Next is your headphones. They'll get plugged in here. If your headphones aren't quarter inch, you'll need a, an adapter to go from eighth inch to quarter inch. Same thing with the Discord out. Now that those are out of the way, I'll show you how to hook up the speakers. So first we want to turn this down. If you don't turn that down, it's going to make a crazy noise. So I'll plug the right back into the right for the stereo out. And the left back into the left. This knob, now that these are plugged in, will adjust your speaker volume. Just to go over all of the different buttons one more time. This button is up, this one's down, this one's down with the CL1 cloud lifter and the SM7B. Without the cloud lifter, you probably don't need that down. You can check. Um, the two mono or two stereo button is up. The FX on button is down. The stereo mute button is up. I am using a one PC setup here. Another thing is the USB cord is plugged in in the back going to my PC as well. And that's it. Let's uh, 
show you how to hook this up in Windows and in Discord. So now that we have everything connected, we can go into Windows, click Speakers, make sure this is Speakers Realtek High Definition, High Definition Audio. It'll probably default to the MGXU. You don't want that. Now that that's set, we can go into Discord and the user settings, voice and video. And for input device, you also want microphone, Realtek high definition audio, and output, you want speakers, Realtek high definition audio. These will probably default to the MGXU on both or default. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, set them up just like this. And now when we go and play some music, you can see my voice working here in the testing voice channel in my Discord. Now when we play music, you can see it's not activating in Discord when the music's playing. Check, check, check. It only activates when, when my voice. It only activates with my voice. Even with noise suppression off, still just my voice activating. And that's all for this video. If you guys want to see any of my stream settings or any other how-tos, let me know what you're having troubles with in the comments and we'll catch you later.